Oh, hello, NSS. Do you remember our school climate survey that you completed in November? Well, the results are in and we want to share them with you. Just to refresh your memory a little, all of the Kawartha Pirates District School grades 4 to 12 completed the Student Voice online survey. Most of you completed the survey in your period 2 class in the library. Remember that? Your responses were totally anonymous and private, despite all the rumors. You were given a one-time username and password to use, and the answers came back to the school lumped together by grade. They cannot be chased back to you. I promise. The survey allowed us to give our feedback on what we think of our school, our experiences here, and our thoughts on how we can make our school a better place. Let's face it, we spend 10 months a year here, six hours a day. Let's make the most of this opportunity to make some positive changes. This survey is for the teachers and admin to know how the students are feeling, so we can make sure we can take the right steps into making school a better place. We all know the survey is super long and asked a ton of questions. Here's a sample of those responses, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The school is a very welcoming place. There are a lot of different groups of people, and most of the students are friendly. I love how there's extracurricular activities for everyone's taste, such as Gamers, Drill Team, Art Club, GSA, Afternoon of Talent, Music, and Sports. There are lots of resources to help you and a great variety of courses to take. I really like the sense of freedom. Things that I really like at our school include our sports teams. I really like how the teachers do a great job at encouraging everyone at doing sports, even if not really good at them. Some students said, the classes are too long and the breaks are too short. Others said we are constantly being judged and lots is expected of us. We are constantly being watched and told what to do. We need to learn how to love ourselves and others. Some said, Teachers need to give more help to students who find it hard to understand certain concepts. Not all of us learn at the same pace. Some kids learn slower than others, even if they try twice as hard. Lastly, this 8.30 start is killing us. We would do way better if we weren't tired. We need better internet with less things blocked. Air conditioning would make our school better at the beginning and end of the year when it's hot outside. The bathrooms are in need of some massive renos. It is also important to know where we compare with the rest of the world. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> let's just look at Enos as compared to Canada. Again, let's start with the good. Compared to the Canadian norm, Enos says students felt that. We get along with our teachers really well. We have someone who provides encouragement that could be turned to for advice. That could be an adult, a school, a good friend, or a family member. We have lower levels of truancy. We feel in our classrooms that we are receiving relevant classroom instructions that help us prepare us for the real world. No joke, that was mentioned a couple times. Now let's take a look at some of the areas that need work. Heads up, the results are startling. Here's what we had to say. Compared to the Canadian norm, ENSS students indicate that 1. We have moderate to high levels of anxiety and lower self-esteem. 2. We need to look more at positive ways to cope with stress, instead of sleeping for example. And three, sadly our depression rates are higher than the Canadian norm. Our teachers want to know why this is and how to improve it. School is more than just math, English, and science. Our mental health is important too. Did you know that at ENSS we have a well-being committee? They took a look at all of our results and came up with a SMART goal. Of course they did, because they're teachers. It says, Levels of anxiety, self-esteem, and depression will improve if strategies to manage stress and teach strategies for personal life management are embedded within the curriculum and the school community. Translation, we want to help, but we don't have all the answers. We asked some questions. Okay, we asked a lot of questions and you responded. Now what? Now it's time to turn it over to the teachers. We need to help them help you. They need all of us. We need to give them ideas and strategies to help figure out all of this stuff. 